today's video, we'll be looking at a different kind of miner, and this one is from Map Metrics. I'll be doing an overview on this project, letting you know how you can earn their native token, what this positioning tracker does, and how you can get your hands on one. And here is the Map Metrics box. I can be opening this up and checking out what's inside. And that is the physical device itself. What we'll do is we'll plug it into the app and get it connected. So we also have a cable here. This is USB-C. This looks like to charge the device. Have a map metrics sticker. It comes with a QR code for the manual. And this will be to set it up. So we'll take a look at that in just a moment. So we have the SBT charged up and we're ready to go. We have some LEDs up here at the top and you can see that the first one is gonna be the Bluetooth LED light that lets us know when it's connected. The next one will be lit up when you're charging the device. Then we have an earnings LED and a power LED. And down here at the bottom we have two options. There are buttons over here. We have the X and the check mark or cross and check mark. The X will be for voting no and the check will be for voting yes. Also, when you hold down the X, you can turn off the device, and when you hold down the check mark, you turn on the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the app and open up Google Play Store here and look for the map metrics. I'm gonna go ahead and install the app, open up the app. We don't have an account right now, so we're gonna sign up, click on the sign up link down here. So the personal information that you have here is actually pretty basic. You don't even have to put it in. So click on next. And now it's gonna ask me for a email address and password. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in right now. Okay, so I have my password entered in twice and it looks like it's gonna send me an activation code. So I'll just wait for that to come up in my email. Okay, username and password is there. We're gonna go ahead and sign in. Okay, so we have the app installed up here into the menu. So the next step right now is to connect my wallet, Mapmetrics wallet with Soulflare. So we're gonna click on the plus sign right over here, put in your wallet address, go over to my, I'm gonna go into my Solana wallet here, copy my address. So then I'll paste it in here and click on connect. So now we have our wallet connected and uh, there is no NFTs, there's nothing else in here right now. There's no map tokens, but we'll get an accumulated amount uh, that's over here and that will be automatically in our Soulflare wallet. So what we wanna do is inside full soul flare is also add the m maps token so you can see a balance in there we're gonna go to manage assets plus sign over here and i'll just type in mm maps let's see if it comes up and there you go map metrics and click on the plus sign and then click on add account and then we'll swipe it to confirm it say yes to the prompt whoops there we go, it's been added and click on the close. And we have our map metrics token been added to our Soulfair wallet. So anytime there is a transaction or we accumulate tokens, it'll show a balance inside your Soulfair wallet. It should mirror exactly what you're seeing inside the map metrics app. So we have our wallet connected and now we want to connect our device. So I'm gonna click on the device option over here, click on the connect button and it needs Bluetooth permission. Now we want to connect an SBT and it looks like it found it. That's going to be the one right next to me. So I'm going to go ahead and select that one and it's going to connect it. And there we go. So we have our SBT listed in here. So that's good to go. So you'll notice on the device itself that there is a blue LED now lit up. So power and LED is there. So we'll click on the back button. You can see that we have the status of the device. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and drive around a bit. Okay. So I'm going to be installing the SPT tracker in my vehicle right now. All right. So to install this in your vehicle, I notice that it doesn't come with a lot of power and the power drains out pretty quickly. Just take a USB-C cable like I do over here and uh, we're just going to be plugging it in to the back port right over there and it momentarily will charge up. Okay, it's plugged in, got a couple lights, looks like it's going through its boot up sequence. So we have a few lights that come on automatically, which is the power, and then we have the charging light, and then we have the Bluetooth light, so it's automatically paired with my phone. And uh, we'll just check the status of my phone right now. You can see over here that the data is ready to collect, and it's connected, and the battery of the device is improving while it's charging. And that all looks good. So I have the tracker now installed in my car. I'm just going to be doing some laps and running some errands. And uh, we'll see how many tokens I accumulate over just a short distance. I'm going to be driving a couple kilometers. Uh, I just got to go to work and back. And we'll see what the progress is with this. Okay, so I've just come home. I've been driving around all weekend and um, probably added up to maybe two or three hours of driving time in total. 
I'm just logging back into the app to see the status of it. So it looks like I'm still connected over here. You can see that the icon in the top right hand corner is glowing blue. That means it's connected to the device. And I'm going to click on the menu over here at the top and then I'll go to my wallet. And you can see I've accumulated 606.41 M maps tokens. Um, and if you go into the NFT section, I have nothing in there right now. And then the N ads, looks like I have two M maps to redeem, but I think I need a minimum amount. Yeah, so in order for me to redeem this, I need to have at least a thousand M maps. And uh, it looks like I won't be there. Uh, for a little bit because I'm at uh, 600. But anyways, we know that the app is working. I'm able to connect to it. I'm able to see that uh, tokens have been transferred into my account. And that is a quick overview of the Mapmetrix SPT device. The ICO happened in July of 2022. So we're still very early on in this project. And there's been regular updates ever since. For the short period of time that I used the SPT device, uh, there were some minor issues with connecting in the app, not loading at times, but nothing major that I noticed. And I'm sure a lot of these kinks will get quickly resolved. The team behind Mapmetrics is very responsive on the Discord. So if you're having any issues and you pick up one of these devices, just jump on the Discord and let them know. They're definitely working on this. There's regular updates coming out. And I'll make sure I link the Discord as well as all their other social accounts in the description, along with the website, the white paper, and links to the device if you're interested in getting one. Shout out to Brent at Mapmetrics for supplying me the device for testing. And if you're interested in me doing an update, I'm going to be using this for the next couple of months uh, to see where I'm at with the results. So let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.